What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna walk you through these lighting setups that I did with just one light. I remember starting out and you can only afford one light and maybe one attachment and you're kind of limited. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use one light and get some really nice setup. The light I used in this video, I actually borrowed one of my friends, Godox 150 watt. This light is crazy bright for the price and it's perfect on a budget. I had the Godox in the back, I had the Fresnel 2X by Aperture on it, and I had that spotted in on my subject. So I put some haze in the background to create a better background, and what I did is I had someone bounce some light with a simple cheap $20 light bounce. You could even use poster board, doesn't matter, and I had them fill in the face because the light's coming from behind, and then so I'm catching some of that light back on the face with the bounce. This is important so you can actually see the artist's face, you can get a little bit of detail. And the nice thing about this, is you have a hard backlight, but you have soft light bouncing back onto the face. So we actually use both sides of the bounce. We use the silver side, which is a little bit harder, but a lot brighter. And then I use the white side, which is just a really nice soft light. We actually had to walk that one in quite a lot closer but it definitely looks good. Let me know which one you guys like more down below. I definitely like the white side because it's nice and soft compared to the silver where it's a little bit harsher and punchier. This could be a really solid music video performance. This is just one light. You can use this with any other light. You can use it with a Fresnel light. Super simple, one light setup. I'm gonna move on to the next one. The second one, we actually put the light on a C-stand and then we boomed it up over our talent. Make sure you have a lot of sandbags when you do this because you don't want your light tipping over and falling on your talent. This looks cool and dramatic right from the start, but what we did is we, we bounced some light up above to fill in those shadows because it kind of looks like noon. This is cool if you want something dramatic, but I wanted something a little bit more pleasing to the eye, so we bounced some light up from above and you can definitely see that looks really solid. It still looks cool without the bounce. Let me know which one you guys like more. I was really liking this setup. It's definitely dramatic. It could be a music video performance, maybe a dramatic interview. Godox above with the Mark II dome, so the Aperture products work on the Godox, so they use Bowens mount attachments, so you can use the soft boxes, Fresnels, any attachment you get will work on either or light. I think they're perfect for beginners and they're a great alternative to the Aperture 120Ds just because they're so cheap and they use the same mount. So you can use all the attachments that you buy for these lights on the Aperture light. So if you ever end up buying Aperture lights in the future, you can use the same attachments. I'm gonna link them down below and some of the accessories I use today. Let me know what you guys think about these setups and if you plan on using them. Also, make sure to go check out the collab I did with YC. There's a bunch of colored lighting setups there for music videos. Super fire video. I have one of my setups in there as well. Definitely a really cool video. Make sure to go check that out. I have all the lights that I use linked down below. Shout out to everyone who came out and helped with these lighting setup videos. Couldn't have done it without you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and you came from YC's channel. I'm Tyler Casey. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.